friends. Today we're going to work on Module 4, Lesson 27. Our objective is to, is to subtract from 200 and from numbers with zeros in the tens place. Let's take a look first at how we decompose 100. Remember how we talked about we can make hundreds into tens and tens into ones. Let's take a look at what it looks like when we break that apart. If we have a flat of 100, and I tell you I want to see that number represented in tens, you're going to take that 100 apart, break it into the tens, which is 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I'm going to tell you to take a 10 and show me how this number 100 can look with 10s and 1s. So we're going to take the 10, break it into some 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's check and see if we still have 100. Remember, we decompose that and we decompose that. So let's just count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Still the 100 that we originally started with. All right. What if I tell you, though, I want you to decompose the number 200? So if I say you've got 200, we're going to show that on our place value chart by drawing one flat, two flat because I have two in the hundred spot. If it helps, you could even write it underneath here to help you remember where they're at. Then I don't have any tens and I don't have any ones. What if I tell you to write it in hundreds and tens? Then we would need to take this ten, hundred, break it into tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's check to see if we still have 100. Didn't take any off, just moved it over from one place value to the next. So we have 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Still have 200. What if I say I want to see this 200 in hundreds, tens, and ones? Then we're going to need to break a 10 and move it into some ones, decomposing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones in that ten. Let's check to make sure we still have 200. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. We still show, have the same value of 200. We just are showing it in hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's see how this will help us while we do our problems today. Here's the problem that I want us to think about first. 200 minus 8. All right. We are subtracting. We have hundreds, tens, and ones. We're going to put it into our vertical format, 200 minus 8. All right, I got to build it first and draw it. I don't have any 1s to draw. Don't have any 10s to draw, but I do have 200s. Okay, there's 100, 200. Now we're going to take that 200 and we're going to subtract 8. But I don't have any ones to draw subtract from. So I need to decompose a 10. We know that we can borrow from our tens, but friends, we don't have any tens. So we have to go one more place value. We have to go all the way over to our hundreds and decompose one of these hundreds into tens. And there's 10 tens. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. Let's check to make sure we still have 200 because we haven't subtracted anything yet. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Okay, we're still there. All that we did 
was decompose one of those hundreds, which left us with 100. We moved it over, so now instead of having zero tens, we have 10 tens. And now we can look at, we need to get those ones, but now we've got a 10 to decompose. So we can take that 10 and decompose it into some ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's take a look at what we did. We had ten tens. We needed some ones, so we decomposed that ten ten, and that left us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. And then we decomposed it over to our ones. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. We just moved it to a different place. All right, now let's check to make sure we still have 200 because we didn't actually subtract anything. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Okay, but now we've got eight tens to subtract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight tens. We had 10 tens, we took off eight. That leaves us with two tens. Now we've got to look at our tens. Do we need to subtract any tens? No, we don't need to subtract any. So nine tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is what we have left. We have no hundreds to subtract. So we have 100 left. That means that 200 minus eight is 192. All right, not too difficult, but what if we do have tens in here when we decompose, but it's not enough? Hmm, what if we have to subtract 200? And let's take a number like, I don't know, 78. We still need to draw our big number of 200. It still is the bigger number being we are subtracting. So we're only gonna draw the 200 in our place value chart, which tells me we have 100, 200, still no tens, still no ones. 200, no tens, no ones. All right, now, we know that we need to get some ones because we're gonna to start to subtract and we start with our ones when we subtract. I've got eight ones I need to take off. There's no ones here. Okay, we know that I, what we're supposed to do is go to the tens, but there's no tens there. So we've gotta go one more place value over here to our hundreds. So we're gonna decompose that hundred. And when we decompose that hundred, we break it into 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tens. Let's write out what we did. We started with one with the 200. We decomposed it. Leaves us with 100. We moved it over to our tens, which now instead of having zero tens, we have 10 tens. Still have 200. 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Okay, we're still good, but we're not done yet because I still don't have any ones to, decom to be able to subtract the eight. So we've got to decompose a 10. Here we go. There's 10 ones and one 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, let's write out what we did. We had zero tens, we had 10 tens. We decomposed one of those tens, which left us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we now, instead of having zero ones, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, friends, now remember, we've done a lot of decomposing, but we haven't actually taken anything away yet. We should still have 200 represented over here in our picture. 
Let's check it. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Now we can subtract. We're going to take off our eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 minus 8 leaves us with 2. We have 7 tens that we need to subtract, and we've got 9, so we can do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 9 tens minus 7 tens leaves us with 1, 2. Now we still have 100 left here. We're not subtracting anything, so we have to remember to keep that 100. So 200 minus 78 is 122. All right, what if we were to subtract a number from 200 that's got 800 in it? What would that do for us? Let's look at it. Let me erase the whole board real quick. What if we are gonna subtract this? We still are gonna have the same place value chart. We're still looking at hundreds, tens, and ones. I'm gonna flip it vertically, but I'm gonna move it down so we have lots of room to write what we change to here. Lining up all of my numbers, because we have 100, we've got four tens and three ones at this time that we're gonna be taking away from our big number of 200. All right, we're pretty pros at building 200. We first start with two flats. We're gonna subtract from our ones. But friends, I don't have three ones to take from. So we've got to decompose. We look over at our tens spot. There's no tens. So we're gonna go all the way over to our hundreds. We decompose the hundred. And remember there's 10 tens in 100, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I still have 200. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. I haven't actually subtracted anything, just moved some stuff over. So we had 100, we decomposed 100, left us with 100. Now instead of having zero tens, I have 10 tens. But we're not done decomposing yet because I still need to subtract the three ones and I don't have three ones to take. So we're gonna take one of these tens and turn it into some ones. And it's 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's check. We still haven't subtracted. We should have 200. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 91, 92, 93, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Okay. Let's review what we did. We had 10 tens. We took one, which leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. And we moved it over to our ones. So instead of having zero ones, we now have 10 ones. And we know that 100, nine tens and 10 ones is still the value of 200. Now I have enough to subtract some ones off of there. Let's take our three ones off. That leaves us with five, six, seven. Let's look at our tens. We had nine tens. We're gonna take off four. One, two, three, four. So nine minus four leaves us with one, two, three, four, five. We had one, one, and look, we've gotta take off one, one. So 100 that we subtracted from our 100 is a zero. Now we don't have to write the zero, but if it helps you to remember that place value, you can do that. Because our answer then is going to be 200 minus 40, 143 is the number 57. That was all that was left after we decomposed, borrowed, and subtracted. All right, friends. Whew, that was a lot. If you need to go back and review, feel free to rewatch the video to help you. Go ahead and practice. Can't wait to see what you do.